Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Full disclosure, I never thought that I would make it into the Gladiator circuit. It's not that I didn't think I had the roster, Lord knows that's true, but I definitely didn't think I had the skills or the motivation. I really just wanted to spend the minimum amount of fights to get my trophy tokens and then move on. But the previous season, season 9, motivated me because I didn't want to let my alliance down and I also quite frankly didn't want to let myself down and I found myself ending the year ending the season I should say out of the victory track and in the gladiator circuit so when we talk about the battleground season 10 details it's important to note that this is really a game changer for people like myself who hadn't made it that far before and while we are going to wait uh, about a week from now it's important to note that this is really exciting for so many people in the game. And I will say this, I don't hate Battlegrounds. It, I've warmed up to it. I don't miss it that much when I'm not playing it, which might seem strange to some people. I don't know. Let's be honest. This is, this is a nice mode because you don't have to worry about so many of the cursed, annoying, redundant, stale feelings of most content in this game. I've heard people say war feels stale, but Alliance Quest is a necessary evil that will be stale, and that's fine with me, though they want to change it up and we'll see how that goes. Uh, besides that, I think it's really worth noting, and I'm not trying to say this to be like as much of an understatement as it gets, but Event Quest just sucks now. It just sucks. There needs to be a longer video uh, on the channel, but like, I was doing Event Quest completion points today, and I just thought, this is awful. Like, the energy that it takes, literally and figuratively speaking, the rewards, the nodes, like, who is this for? Who jumps into that anymore and thinks, boy, this is so much fun. I don't know anybody. So when it comes to seeding, it says seeding is the new system added to Battlegrounds that allows summoners to start their season partway up the victory track. It will be introduced in Season 10, and summoners will have their first seeded season starting in Season 11. This means that whatever rank you ended in Season 10 is uh, going to have effects on where you start Season 11. And so how does it work? Each season, summoners will be demoted six ranks from where they ended the last season. And the only exception to this is summoners cannot be seated higher than Platinum 1. This means summoners at the top of Vibranium, as well as in the Gladiator Circuit, will be seated into Platinum 1. So this still feels to me a little bit like we've said before, which is, hey, if you're not wanting the, the worst of the worst matchups, wait a week or so for like the best of the best rosters to get out of Platinum 1, but I know Kabam doesn't want us to say that. Certainly the people who are seated below, like in the gold, the silver, etc., are going to hopefully have better matchups. And I say that knowing that I oftentimes, with my roster, I'm a very unfair matchup to people who are great players. They just don't have as uh, well as big of a roster. What does this look like? A summoner ending the season in Platinum, platinum 1 will be seated in Silver 1, Gold 1, Bronze 1, Gladiator Circuit, Plat 1. So Silver 1, Bronze 1, or Plat 1, it feels like. Now, this is what really matters to me and I think so many people. How are rewards going to work? Because one of the common arguments, of course, is you don't want to lose those juicy rewards, especially the trophy tokens uh, and the Elder's Marks that you get for completing each tier. And it says, once Season 11 rolls around, summoners will be starting partway up the victory track in order to make sure they don't miss the rewards for the ranks they're seated above. Summoners will get... All the rewards below where they were seated only after playing matches or five matches during that season. Now, it says play five matches, not win five matches, which I think is a really important distinction. This means if you were seated in Platinum 1, you will only need to play five matches to get all the rewards from Bronze 3 to Platinum 2, and that is a lot of rewards. With all these changes, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on how this affects matchmaking, season fatigue, and the number of summoners that make it into the Gladiator Circuit. Expect more consistent updates each season after we've had some time to digest what the new landscape of Battlegrounds looks like. I think that's a very fair way to phrase it. 
Victory Track Update. Season 10 is adding three new ranks to the Victory Track with the introduction of seating. We wanted to extend the Victory Track as summoners will no longer have to progress through the entirety of it. The new ranks and the rewards are as follows. You can see it goes from bronze to silver to gold to platinum to diamond to vibranium. So, if you're in plat 1, you still got to go through diamond and vibranium to get out. I do appreciate when it comes to Elder's Marks, that Vibranium gives you a ton of, well, I guess I should say Diamond, Diamond gives you Elder's Marks until Vibranium, but Vibranium gives you 5,500 trophy tokens each time. Like, that's, that's pretty amazing. We're also making some changes to the number of medals required to progress through the early stages of the Victory Track. As we add seeding, Summoners will continue to race through the Victory Track at faster than ever paces, and we want to make sure that it is still an integral part of the Battlegrounds experience, Bronze medals required to rank up two to three. Silver medals required to rank up three to four. In Season 10, we're making some more matchmaking changes. Our intent is to make matchmaking less focused on account power in the earlier ranks of Victory Track. Over the past number of seasons, we've been lowering how much account power plays in the matchmaking early ranks of the Victory Track. We've been making these changes because we noticed a high number of summoners with weaker account power having a much easier time getting to the upper ranks or gladiator circuit due to them only matching up with accounts of similar power. This meant that often it was easier to have a fresh, uncollected account with a Paragon experienced summoners cruising through the victory track. We feel that this is pretty unreasonable and that it's heavily skewing the matchmaking battlegrounds experience for summoners of both high and low power accounts. The changes we made at this point have already seen some great results. Inevitably, it will lead to some uneven matches where massive accounts punch down against newer folks. It is unfortunate that this change will allow those accounts to climb faster than others, allowing them to progress out of the lower level matchmaking pools sooner. With seeding being introduced, these accounts should be moving to higher ranks even faster in each season. We will see fewer and fewer matches with a large disparity of account power. We're going to continue monitoring this and ensuring that Battlegrounds feels fair for summoners of all skill levels. The introduction of seeding is going to shake up what rank summoners start each season at and spend most of their time in so this will be the last matchmaking change for a few seasons to let us collect data on how it changes the landscape of the victory track and then season length we have already talked about. Um, duration season by five hours and season 10 meta hard knock life, uh, which basically punishes you for parrying. Every time the attacker performs a successful well-timed block, they gain a passive disorient, reducing defense ability accuracy and block percentage by 10% over 15 seconds. Ebb and flow. The defender has protection, reducing all incoming damage for 60%, knocking down the defender, removes the protection, and grants the attacker fear. So, again, with ebb and flow, sometimes it's just worth it to parry heavy and then gain that passive disorient for 15 seconds. And then, Dauntless, the attacker starts, Spirit Gauge 50%, and then, we got Gladiator Circuit, all sorts of fun stuff, including Crip Me with your best shot which also is uh, really fun for people who have Corvus. Well, you know, all in all, I think Kabam is listening. That's my objective takeaway. Is it perfect? No, but I think Kabam would acknowledge that too. It's a step in the right direction. They've made me a believer, at least in some things that I was skeptical of for the first several seasons. And I think it's worth noting that that shows progress. I don't know if I'm ever going to love it. I still get anxious when I go into Battlegrounds. It's actually the reason why I stopped doing war. I just didn't feel like it was fun. I felt like it was very stressful work that actually gave me a pretty high amount of anxiety. And when things didn't go well, it made me want to throw my phone, which is also counterproductive to, well, anything in life that you want to be healthy. I think overall, we'll see how it goes. But these are more good changes than bad changes, but maybe disagree. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.